began as a day of summer fun turned scary for a Rustburg family after swimming in a hotel pool. Tonight, a mother is speaking out about illnesses plaguing her family and why she believes the pool water is to blame. ABC 13's Rachel Branding shares their story. I will never rent another hotel to let the kids go swimming. Michelle Rose and her family went swimming at the Residence Inn on Wards Road in early June. She says she, her sister, and her two children left feeling sick and are still feeling the effects today. I ended up with the UTI. My son is still seeking treatment. He is having some gastro stuff. Bronchitis, upper respiratory infection, um, something called viral syndrome, they said, because of the gastro issues that haven't been right since. Rose's daughter, Kaylee, was hospitalized. She was admitted to the ER for a UTI um, that ended up being polynephritis, which is a severe kidney infection. Their list of ailments made her rethink their time at the pool. She says her kids didn't smell any chlorine, so she reached out to the health department. We did an inspection um, in response to a complaint about the water quality. But the water quality looked pretty good, except that there was no chlorine in the water. Jim Bowles with VDH said public pools are required to have a chlorine level between one and three. The residence in was at zero. He says pools can cause illness even with the right amount of chlorine. So be careful. Rose hopes her story can act as a warning for others. There might be many other pools that you could get into and get sick from. Because, I mean, yes, this one had no chlorine, but... If they're not doing their daily maintenance to these pools, there's a risk. VDH says the chlorination issue has been resolved at this pool at this point, and they are back open. Now, I reached out to the residents in and Marriott multiple times for comment, and I still haven't heard back. Back to you.